Hello everyone, and today I'm going to review the LEGO Creator 3-in-1 Modular Winter Vacation. It's 374 pieces, it's regular range is 7 to 12, it's 31080 and has two minifigures, retails for $35 in the United States or, and, or $45 in Canada. Now let's take a look at the minifigures. So the first minifigure is a girl and she has a winter clothes. So you can see the the printing on them. She holds a little white stud as a snowball. But her hands are, are white to represent white gloves. Everything of her is blue or sky blue. She has a printed with the glasses. No back printing. But she has a weird ponytail in maroon. A long ponytail in maroon color. Which I never had one of those hair colors. The printing is really detailed. There's the belt. A purple scarf back printing to there's no hoodie that's just con the continuous of the scarf the the purple one she can see also the details on the coat which is pretty cool so the next one the next one is the boy and the torso is the hoodie torso is, is actually MR productions old sick fit torso which I'll put in the, the description the channel description and uh, See, the hair is actually used for the old Harry Potter hair in, in, with the same color black. And the face actually has a double face, a smiling face, and a worried, a worried face. See the back print of the hoodie, and, she, and he has orange pants. They've also been given also a green snowboard, you can see, and skis, purple skis, and gold ski poles, which is pretty cool to get gold pieces so I don't have a lot of gold pieces the only thing gold piece I have was the golden dragon that I had back in the, the Ninjago set so here's the build the set all built up this is the first one and also stay tuned for the other two builds so the first one is actually like a little lock cabin in the winter like a snowy place and you can see it's pretty detailed for the snow, some some of the snow parts. So we're gonna start from the bottom. As you can see, little icebergs so represent using like two pieces. The same for these, which represents melting snow. And also the snow like cover up the doors. There's also a lantern, an iceberg, and also an ice melting down in ice, in transparent blue, and a door with a an old fashioned door. There's some little gray door handle. And for the window, there's you can see there was a white flag that keeps falling apart every time when I play with it. And you can see it's a module, so you can actually take it apart. You see the window can take apart in this window. Well, we'll get to that some other times. Here's the, the roof. Well, like a little hill. So you, they can play like ski or snow down downhill. You can see some alpine flags. You can see, you see, there's some alpine flags. Oh, one of them fell off. Yeah, you see, it's the problem with these flags because they can, you can easily can lose part if you're clumsy. There's two blues. You can see right there. Then there's a red flag. And now there's also an owl in here. There's a little balcony. It's a pretty cool balcony. There's a little table right. There. Well, actually, we can just we can take it apart actually. That's what's cool about these modular buildings, modular houses on Creator 3 more. So you can actually split these in half because it connect the fireplace is actually connected by studs, jumpers, you can see. Jumper studs. The fireplace can also be taken apart from the balcony and the roof. So the fireplace is pretty cool. It has little orange studs to represent the fire. And I don't know why these what's these two for the clips. Other than that, here's the other set. Uh, the flag keeps falling apart. They should make it like more sturdy flag. Anyway, there's a buildable brick built owl. Pretty cool. And I know, and I know why they don't really use a molded owl because it's a three in one. You got, you can turn this to something else besides an owl. So a chair and a ta chair and table. The chair can actually twist it 360 degrees because it's just connected with a stud jumper right there. One two by two black plate with a jump with a stud in the middle. 
There's also a little fence to prevent falling. A little lamp. Pretty cool. Now the roof actually pretty detail. Not really too much detail on the inside. It's pretty cramped. But the roof is actually covered in white snow drips so like they can play snow. They can like ski or snowboard down the hill. Down this the roof hill. Cool. Now we're moving on to the inside of the first floor. It's pretty detailed. You can see the coffee machine. A little I don't know what this is actually. Table. Little lights. A, a snowshoe holder. And a little helmet holder as you can see. So when they're playing snowboard ski, that's where they put if they're not using it. Uh, you can actually take apart this side of the hill roof. It's not really much. I usually what I usually do is like if, if they don't play the ski or snowboard, I usually put the ski and snowboard inside there. It's pretty snugly. And, and the ski poles also. And you can disconnect them together and they won't fall each other. Oh they just fall. Hold on a second. Yeah, the skis are actually a bit hard when you put it in, but they also can try to keep the guns off like fall apart later. So you got putting gently. There you go. You see? So that's it. Now let's check. So there are actually a few more side builds, and the side builds are actually just a little pine tree. They're not built. There's not a mold. Not a molded pine tree. It's cool, and they use one of the cone piece, cone bricks, in white to represent like snowfall from the tree. No, it's in the tree. It's right there, and there's also a little picnic table, as you can see, with a yellow mug, a yellow coffee cup. This is pretty cool. That's it, now let's move on to the other builds. So this is the second build of the set. Now let's take a look, and it's actually called a, I don't know what it is, it's like a bobsleigh right place so here is the bobsled of the set and the design of this is kind of pretty basic but uh here's like cool interesting pieces then again it's a three in one set so they have to use some existing pieces they include in the set to to make it so they use the ski pieces for the front and they use the snowshoe pieces for the back kind of interesting right there Still cool, you can still glide it down. There's space for two minifigures. Uh, you can put the boy over here, and then you can also put the girl up here for the set. There, fits pretty well. Then you got a, most of this like good, cool white and a little red firm on the on the top, on the front. It's pretty cool. I don't know why they actually one indent over there so that's it now let's take a look at the other builds so here's the starting line of the set this is like the starting finish line because there's some headlights for the ready set go there's also a blue flag it looks pretty simple and they have a little space a little diagonal slope to make the bobs slide move easy slide easier so let's try it out See, it will slide down easier when the race is started. So that's it about that. Let's take a look at the little house. So here's the house of the set. And the design of this is kind of pretty neat. They're a little small. And they got a little spy camera right here. Use one of those hinge pieces. It's one of those clip pieces right there. There you go. It's in plat chrome gold piece not really pure gold there's some ice and like snow melting using one of those two pieces the t piece i think this sign is actually keep diagonal because it uses a ball joint you see it uses one of those ball joints so you can move wherever you want and there's a door right there there's also a tree which i just knocked down you can see right there some little greener, some little green stuff, there's like greenery, some snow. There's a door with a red knob, red handle. In the back, there's a place to put the hot cocoa. There's the cup, coffee mug, 
things like a little thermos and a little yellow chair. You can spin because you use one of those jumper pieces. See right there. Oh. Let me just get the brightness on. There it goes, you can see. That's make the chair can move twist. There's no there's no rotational piece. Uh that's it. Hold on. Oh, it keeps knocking down. That's not a problem when I was building this set, because it keeps knocking down. If you're clumsy. That's it. Now let's take a look at the third build. So here's the third build of the set. Now let's take a look at each of these. So the first one is the Yeti, the buildable animal uh, creature. And they use one of these hinge pieces right there, as you can see, to use the mouth to make it open and close. And they use one of those snow pieces to make it like their, the Yeti's tooth. It's pretty cool. There you go. Sorry, it's kind of a little wobbly the body, but the, the arms can be moved with the hinge. The leg can also, because they use a ball joint, so they can rotate 360 degrees in both arms. Uh, that's it. And use one of those translucent blue, ice blue, for the feet. Well, most of this is white. Uh, that's it. Not really much to talk about this. Well, let's take a look at the other build. So there is the other build of the set. It's actually a toilet, if you can see, if you look inside. It's a toilet. Oh, they use a bowl piece and put a, a yellow stud, transparent stud, to make it like a pee. To make it like it's urine inside. And then they got a little white cylinder piece as toilet paper. Let's, see. Let's bring it in. Then it's a monitor, so you can actually take you can actually take it out the section. So this one section. This one's kind of a bit hard, so I'm not gonna do it that. See, there's a little closer of the toilet, and they have a lantern piece using the cylinder, trans yellow cylinder piece. And then there's a white flag, and a door, and just regular old door. And then here's like a little roof, I think. There's a chimney on top, covered in snow. This thing keeps knocking off, the problem is, this, it keeps knocking off. It can easily be knocked off, this one's not really... There's like a little, and there's a little ventilation with some greenery in it for, for some reason. Well, that's it. Well, let's take a look at the rest of them. So the rest of the build is just a little tree covered in snow. A chair with some 2x2 two two circular piece. And a little campfire, as you can see, using trans yellow and trans orange. Well, that's it. Let's take a look at the packaging and my final thoughts. So here's the box of the set, it's pretty long, it almost can't fit into my camera. And the back shows the three builds, you can see right there, there's the main build, the bobsleigh build, and also the little yeti haunting the toilet kind of vibe. And for the instructions, you get three of them, as you can see. Now for the first one, there's the ad for the win. There's an ad for the others, Winter 2018 set, the the sun, the sun Sunshine Surfer van, yeah, the Lego Life. And the second one, the Bob Slade one, has an ad for the Creator app, Creator Island game. And also the other one, this, I don't know, the out, I don't know what to call it, some kind of camp out something. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a daredevil stunt plane, green one. And the third one, there's a, for the other modular house, the modular clear 31 modular, the skate house. There are actually also one more actually released this year. The sweet surprise, yeah. There's actually one more, yeah. The night for the Lego worlds. And Lego friends, for some reason. I don't know why. And that's it. Now, uh, that's it for the instructions in the box. Now let's take a look at my final thoughts. So overall, I think this is a pretty cool set. I will rate it like a, if I rate it on a scale of 10, and probably like a 8.5. Because you can get that winter feel. But I'll 
it's a little bit annoying like some of the flex can actually like lose down sometimes for for this build the other two builds are kind of also the same and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time peace out bye